The family of a man killed by a Harris County sergeant last week is demanding to see the video of what happened leading up to his death. Roderick Brooks was shot in his neck last Friday after the sergeant says Brooks got a hold of his taser. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield joining us now live with what his sisters and their attorney had to attorney I should say had to say during a news conference today. Hi there Micah. Hey, the whole reason that the sheriff's office ever came into contact with Roderick Brooks was because they said they got a call from the nearby Dollar General who said that Brooks assaulted an employee who was trying to stop him from shoplifting. Today, during a news conference, Brooks' family and local activists, activists asked if anything that he could have stolen from the dollar store was worth taking his life. My brother was treated worse than an animal. You go to jail for shooting down. Roderick Brooks' family does not want to wait for the Harris County Sheriff's Office to wrap up their investigation into his death. They are demanding to know what happened between him and Sergeant Harden before the trigger was pulled Friday evening. We need justice, and we can't have justice without the truth. The Sheriff's Office says Sergeant Harden pursued Brooks on foot near 1960 in Kirkendall after reports that he stole from and assaulted an employee of a Dollar General. When Sergeant Harden deployed his taser, officials say it wasn't effective. The two continued fighting, and HCSO says Brooks got the sergeant's taser, and that's when he shot the 47-year-old in the neck, killing him. Killing is not the punishment for stealing. I'm going to say it again. Killing is not the punishment for stealing. This cell phone video showing the aftermath is the only video Brooks family and attorney have been able to see. No body camera or surveillance video, despite trying to get copies of both. They have spoken with witnesses who described a brutal scene and claim to have heard racial slurs, an account that they say conflicts with the details given by the sheriff's office. And you can only imagine his the last moments of his life. He's in fear and officers on top of his back. As the bystanders say that he was being pulverized with punches all over his head after he was tased and subdued. Brooks does have a lengthy arrest history, mostly charges for theft and trespassing. In fact, he was arrested last week for stealing shampoo and beer. I'm going to always hmm. speak out for him hmm. because, again, the mug shots mean nothing. In a statement from the sheriff's office we just received, they say the investigation is ongoing and they'll release the body camera footage in a timely manner, but have not set a date. In North Harris County, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.